And welcome back, everyone, to the Bulldog Blitz Football Radio Show, presented by Two Hats Ranch. Rob Bentley and Sandy Golston with you. We're joined now by Ferris State University Football defensive uh, line coach Tesla Smith. And uh, first of all, Coach, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Rob. Appreciate it. I know a uh, bye week this past week, and the guys back to work this week as you get ready to face American International on a, a long trip uh, here this coming week. Yeah, it was good to get back in the, the group of things after, uh, you know, getting that break, uh, um, you know, and then, you know, having an opponent to look forward to is fun. You know, uh, the trip, we know it's going to be a long trip, but again, just being able to go and play a game on Saturday, I think that was the biggest um, um exciting factor for us going out there today so i know uh having that week off what did the guys uh use that as an opportunity uh, to get better in terms of uh how did practice go last week as they as they knew there wasn't an opponent to prepare for uh at least last week our biggest mindset going into our bye week was a getting healthy you know so really taking um some of the strain off some of the guys that logged a lot of snaps but uh the biggest thing is and the other thing was um working on the fundamentals you know and techniques So it gave us an opportunity to get back to working on the little things, you know, like tackling, ball disruption, you know, uh, run fits, you know, you know, pocket, pocket, uh, uh, um, pocket um, assignments and being able to stay in our parts for us lanes and all that. So it was it was good. Maybe what have you uh, seen out of your defensive line? Uh, obviously, some new faces uh, up front this year. Uh, what have you seen some some of those new guys, especially that have came in uh, this year and played a key role for you? And they've been a, a pleasant surprise, you know, and I'm very happy and grateful that the guys that are playing for us are here right now. But it's also a work in progress, you know, so I think they've got a lot of growing to do. And I think that's the, the you know, the exciting part for these guys as we move on to the season is, you know, they still have some chance to uh, really, you know, progress and get better. And, you know, we don't want them peaking now. So hopefully they'll peak, you know, towards the end of the year. And if we can get them to peak at that right time, I think that'll be a really beneficial for our def- for us defensively. Um, but the, um, you know, we we were good with uh, Vic coming back. You know, Vic, he's uh, been our solid veteran and he's been at workhorse for us. And He's uh, logged a lot of snaps, uh, but he's always there, you know, and it doesn't, you know, knock on wood, feel um, he's always just there and ready to go and his level of play has not changed. So, you know, as long as we've got him, he's a big staple to what we're trying to do defensively. Before we get into talking more about uh, this week's opponent and uh, this week's game, uh, obviously for you, you've been around Big Rapids now, hard to believe, uh, for almost a decade. Uh, what, what's it been like being a part of, uh, I know you're involved in the community, just being a part of the community and uh, being around Ferris State for that long? It's been a blessing, to be honest with you, more than anything for me. I didn't anticipate when I first got the job here that I would be able to tell you that my kids graduated from elementary school to middle school and now starting high school. Um, but, uh, you know, Coach has been very good to me, and uh, we've – We've won, you know, at a rate that it's just not normal anywhere else you go. And, uh, you know, my family loves it here. So I've been very truly blessed. You know, we've got some really good friends, you know, around here. And, you know, like I said, my girls love it here. And Shiloh's uh, my son. He just started elementary school here. And, uh, you know, he's, you know, big. he does some really good things, you know, when he's out there um, playing his sports. And so, yeah, he's a very popular kid out there and my girls love it too. So I, I'm blessed. So. Yeah. And I know personally, I'm happy to have coach Smith and coach rock protected our neighborhood. You know, I know that they're out. He knew where I was going with this. He, he totally knew where I was going with this. I'm just glad that uh, Tesla and Brian are just out here looking out for, for our neighborhood. But uh, um, just going back a little bit to the bye week it, you guys had a chance to get some film, you know, yeah. on your players and, and talk a little bit about it from that aspect to, to have a chance. Cause you guys played a, a week zero game, a and B you played a very tough week zero game. And so you've got a chance to evaluate a lot uh, of your team uh, from week zero to where you were at the bye week. Maybe talk a little bit about that aspect. I think the biggest <laughs> thing, you know, even, you know, not, not trying to overlook, you know, AIC, but for us, our mindset is all about, you know, uh, you know, our team and what we're doing to get better, because we believe that if we play the way we're capable of playing, that uh, we'll be in any game we play. You know, and what you learn from that first week is more than anything is we've got to be perfect or, you know, we've got to play 
you know, sound football for four quarters, you know, because one play can really determine the outcome of that game. And mm-hmm. and I thought that game we played really well defensively, but we had three or four plays that if we could have played better, you know, that game is still 3-3 three, three going mm-hmm. into the fourth or, you know, 3 nothing. And, you know, those are the things that we're trying to build on that, you know, there may be some games where, you know, we're not playing great maybe on one side of the ball, but if we play – the way we're capable of playing, we should be in every game defensively. So, and, you know, that's kind of our mindset as we move forward. And we've, you know, trying to grow on that. So, you know, we didn't feel good about how many points we gave up that first game. And then we bounced back and played really well. And then you saw what happened in the Ashland game mm-hmm. where we're playing complimentary football, you know, in all facets of the game. You know what I mean? We're playing sound defensively. We're really explosive offensively and fundamentally sound special teams wise. And those are the outcomes you're going to get against a quality team like Ashland. So going forward, that is our goal, you know, and that's what we're trying to build and strive to from week to week. And just talk a little bit about the mindset of your of your players. And, and we had Coach Hodges on here and, and obviously you and Coach Hodges work uh, together on the on the defensive side of the ball. And and uh, I think it's the pursuit of ex- excellence and, and not uh, settling and say, oh, you know, we had a good game against Pitt State, but you guys want to continue to get better. You guys don't want to settle for anything. You guys feel like kind of the sky is the limit. Yeah, and we know that we have the personnel to do that, you know, so what's it going to take? It's just challenging those certain players or challenging that unit every day that, hey, look, you know, it's easy to, you know, you're going against the scout team. It's easy to say, oh, we're just going to take this playoff. But no, why take the playoff? Why not play? Because one of the biggest compliments you can get when someone watches that film of your unit is, wow, those guys play hard or wow, those guys play fast or wow, those guys run to the ball. And those are the things, you know, when you talk about great defenses, those are the characteristics that you usually hear is they play hard or they play fast or they run to the football or they tackle well or they do a great job of ball disruption. And so those are the things that we know ultimately if we want to get back to where we've had those successes in the past, we need to do defensively. Yeah, and then last thing before I throw it back to Rob, um, you guys didn't take your foot off the gas pedal defensively. And, and even when you rotated some guys in against, I mean, a, a good Ashland team, um, you guys really kind of managed to stay focused right down through the end. And just talk a little bit about that and just not wanting to let up and wanted to maintain that focus from start to finish. Well, that goes about, that goes, that's a part of building your depth, right? So, you know, you got guys that, you know, are probably in that first tier rotation and those are the guys you're going to roll in and you 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 explain to those guys that are not in that rotation when or if you to get in that rotation when your time comes whether we're up three scores or five scores is you got to be impactful Mm -hmm. and the more impactful you are in those situations the easier it is for you to move up into that first tier rotation you know so we've tried to build that mentality and in our guys that hey just because you're not in that first tier rotation when your time comes Go out there and be impactful. And if you're impactful consistently, then you'll move up. And then we'll feel confident, hey, if, you know, God forbid we get some kind of injury, that we can put some guy in, you know, someone else can step up into that role and, you know, be as impactful as 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 he was when he wasn't starting, as you know, as he is now. So, Speaking of guys, uh, when the time comes, I know Ferris State has a long history and tradition uh, here on the defensive line. And you see guys that you have coached before, Zach Sealer, Caleb Murphy, uh, you had Justin Zimmer, guys that go on to play at the next level. What, what does that mean uh, for you as a coach, seeing what those guys have been able to achieve? It's, it's you know, again, a blessing to, to just to have the chance to come in here and coach such talents like that. And, you know, the you know, it's a joy to watch those guys go on and do some great things. And, you know, I mean, none of, none of us thought, you know, that, you know, these guys would, go on and do that when they first got here, you know, mm-hmm. but you could see it while they were here as they were developing it. And, you know, it's, it's fun, you know, and for me, it's, it's a blessing. And I love watching them when they're out there playing. I love talking to them and they're all doing great things. And, and I was telling those guys, you know, when they're here, it's like, you know, you're going to do some great things. It may not be, you know, whether you're on the football field or not, but you're going to go on and do some things beyond this. So, you know, that's what we try to prep those guys for, that they can go on and do things that are bigger and better than, you know, when they were here. So, 
I know uh, you mentioned earlier your kids. I was going to ask you what what do you do away from football uh, here in the community, but obviously I know you spend a lot of time uh, just watching your kids compete. Yeah, we're a very busy family, very sports related family. My girls are playing travel soccer when they're not playing soccer, they're playing basketball when they're not playing basketball. It's uh, track and field, you know. So and then Shiloh, he plays basketball, soccer, baseball. So we've stayed fairly busy throughout the different sports during the, you know, different seasons. And that's what I live for. You know, I live to go out and watch my kids and, uh, you know, being here, you know, coaching on there, coaching ETA allows you to be able to do things like that. And I'm truly blessed to enjoy that. So. Well, coach, thanks for the time. Uh, appreciate the uh, conversation and best of luck on Saturday against American International. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate it. Thanks, Annie. We'll be back with more of the Bulldog Blitz football radio show after this break. Thanks for tuning in.